if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 13 of the third season here at AC Milan on FIFA 16. We start with a home game against City rivals Inter, who aren't that far behind us in the league table. Just the four points, this is both sides game in hand as well. We are desperate to close the gap on Napoli. We've been drawing too many games this season. Five of our 14 so far have ended with neither side able to take all three points and that is why we have currently a nine point gap to Napoli. I'd very much like to cut that to six with this first game and then after that I'd also very much like to cut it to three if they lose and we can beat Atalanta. We'll then be in towards the January transfer window as well which will start tomorrow so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting some transfers done if possible during this January transfer so we're going to try and move on still some of the players that we haven't yet been able to get out of the club. I'll ask the board for more money as well again for the umpteenth time so far in this save. And hopefully they again will decide to give me some extra funding. We'll have to wait and see. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further videos. As you see this, I'm now on holiday and won't be back uh, until next Tuesday. I'm trying my absolute best to get as much recorded as I possibly can. You will have at least one video every single day. And hopefully I'll be able to keep up with the two videos uh, four days a week as well. I will, I will have let you know on Twitter or maybe even with a video uh, either earlier today or a little bit later today whether that is the case. As I record this, Monday, I don't know by the time Tuesday evening comes around whether I'll have been able to record enough. Future me will let you know in a couple of hours or future me may have already let you know in the past. Mindfuck. Let's go and play Inter. Oh, nice little back heel from Verratti to Backer. Trying to get away from William Carvalho and the other man that's with me. I see Brotonio through that gap. We will get it to him. And I could help that on its way. And Mario Goetz is in. What a block from the defender. I don't know which defender it was. As in, I don't know the name of the guy because I couldn't quite see quick enough. As we tackle Jeremy Menez, our former player, playing against us for Inter again. But... Oh, what a block. That was a lovely move. And Mario Goetz had come so close to getting us the uh, opening goal of the game. But sadly, after nine minutes, it's still nil-nil. Florenzi. I'm going to go inside to Verratti here and quickly get it to Goetz and try and spin the defender. I've got William Cavalli on one shoulder and another defender on the other. But we will get this to Lorenzo Insigne and Andreoli. I think that's the same guy that blocked the first chance. Andreoli, number two. Wow. Two chances, unfortunately, both blocked. Berardi with a corner, Verratti might win this. Andreoli again is the man underneath it, and Berardi can't keep it in. Never mind. We've got a throw. I'm going to have to go to Florenzi here, I think. But thankfully, the defender just wandered off and left him unmarked. And that corner could cause that defender problems. He just knew there that he was going to try and take a touch, and it was going to give me a corner. It just You could just tell with this FIFA 16 engine that stuff like that's going to happen at times. Berardi, I'm just going to... Pull this back to Bretonnia and quickly get it in here to Insigne. And oh, I will eventually have a shot that isn't blocked by an Inter defender. How long we're going to have to wait for that, I'm not sure. Hopefully not much longer we can get it done in this move. Back up. No, can't even get past the defender to have the shot in the first place this time. Goes her again to Insigne, to Bretonnia. There's space out here for Alexandro. Bretonnia wants it in behind but then made a different run. Oh, he's giving it straight to Berardi. Is that going to go in? It is. Inter make a mistake, I made a mistake, and then Inter made a mistake to follow that up, and it's cost them big time. 42nd minute, we are in front, Handanovic almost got enough on that to keep it out, but crucially, not quite enough. Over the line it goes, we're in front. Oh, we've got a pen. I thought he just cleared it, he swiped at Goethe. I wasn't really paying too much attention, I just lost possession, so I was like, oh, the chance is gone. And... I know. He, I thought that I thought the first man got the ball with that slide tackle, but clearly not. I'm gonna have to have a look at a uh, replay. Of this as Goethe gets the ball there, it gets tackled once, and then D'Ambrosio. Oh, it was Goethe's foot that knocked it away. As he, as Goethe touched it, I thought it was the defender as he swung around like that that toe poked it away, which is why I wasn't really commentating because I thought, oh, they're just gonna clear it, and then. As it turns out, it was Goethe that got the touch and the defender wiped him out. So Carlos Baca has the chance to give us a 2-0 lead from the spot, which he does. Thank you very much. 
Right, we just have to hope that Napoli, because it looks like we're going to get three points here, we just have to hope that Napoli in the next game day lose. We could be Atalanta and then we'll be within touching distance of them. William Carvalho. Oh, he's done well there. And oh, so is Brozovic. Florenzi with a block. I can't keep it from going out, though. It's going to be a corner to Inter Milan. 20 minutes to go. We've only just gone 2 0 up. I'd very much like to keep our two goal lead intact and not go. Get rid of it. <sighs> Back to just the one goal. I'm not entirely too sure how they haven't scored there, but Insigne has got the pace to get away here and it hopefully will do. No, Juan Jesus closes him down, but we put it in that space and I'm not going to get there either. Andreoli gets it away, but they've given it away and I've given it away and they've given it away. How many mistakes are both sides going to make in this game? It's actually been ridiculous. I poked that down there for Gertzen to run on to. They maybe look for Verratti again. The pass is not that good. Pass it inside to Bacca, who's onside here. Carlos Bacca for three. Fires wide, no blocked wide. Corner. Oh, I should, probably should have looked at that goal line clearance, but never mind. Gets across his. Ah, it's a terrible corner. Handanovic only punches, though. Berardi into Bretagne. Oh, I couldn't get it out of my feet quickly enough to get it to Florenzi. You've gone down the line, and Medell steals in on Carlos Backer there. William Carvalho to Brozovic. Shows good feet. Out to Ivan Perisic. As a drilled cross in, and Andreoli heads that straight at Donnarumma, thankfully. Alexandro, look for Insigne, but I want to turn his side quickly and get that to Baca, which we have done, then pull it back here for Verratti, who can play it over there to Berardi, who will give us a 3-0 lead. No, Handanovic with a save. Andreoli again with a block from Goetze, and Juan Jesus gets the ball away. Andreoli's been man of the match for them. Despite the fact that they're 2-0 down, their defender has been absolutely on fire. Goetze will get the turn in here, but Juan Jesus gets the ball away. Insigne will bring it down, though. We could still have one more chance. I tried to drill that into the middle of the box, but instead it was fired across the pitch to Berardi for some reason. But he's stolen it off their man. We'll get it forward again. Back up. Good touch, but runs straight back into Andreoli. But that should be full time now as they come out and is a 2-0 victory against Inter Milan. Three points for us in our game in hand and fingers crossed we'll be able to get a victory against uh, Atalanta as well. We'll head there now. Oh, it's a nice ball and a good shot. Good save by Donnarumma. Took that shot very early there. I'll just stand this up towards back. If he can knock that down, which he hasn't been able to do, we might have been able to build something. But oh, I won that there with Florenzi and then he ran off and didn't take the ball with him. Here's Gomez. Waiting for the turn, there it is, but we can't help muscle him. And Marilungo somehow was snuck through all of my defenders there to receive the ball to feet, and Donnarumma makes a third save in as many minutes. Atalanta starting the stronger here. It is absolutely lashing it down with rain right now. It's, the pitch is so wet. It's really difficult to actually string any like quick flowing passing together because the ball's just getting stuck and bogged down in the water. So uh, it's really difficult to actually try and build anything at any pace to catch them on the counter perhaps because they've been so dominant to this point but hopefully we'll be able to get the ball into their half sooner rather than later and then keep it there or maybe perhaps get it to go back to the halfway line because we've scored a goal that would be nice got a throw Puccini will get it to Berardi and I'll try and come back here on his left because I need to get a good cross in back here. keep that in and head it back in he has insinuate oh mate keep that down if he keeps that down, that's 1-0. That's a great opportunity. Really fantastic knockdown from uh, Carlos Baca, and Insigne's just slashed at it. I tried to not put much power on it, but he seemed to put everything he possibly could behind it, which was definitely a mistake. Oh, Defoe fires that to Marilungo. Defoe, Gomez gets away from Berardi not once, but he's just done two defenders there by standing on the spot and turning around in a circle. Donnarumma, Donnarumma makes a comfortable save in the end, but that could have been rather awkward there. Berardi plays it back to Thiago Silva into Alexandro. Down the line to Lorenzo Insigne. Nice turn inside. Oh, but do I pass it or do I keep going solo? Because Insigne's on a great run here. Oh, is that a free kick? It should be and is. Now, do I let Insigne take this himself? So he had a very good free kick not long ago. I think it might be, well, I don't know whether it's too close in for Florenzi, but I think considering he went on a great run, great run there and won it himself, and he's got higher curve, I'll let Insigne take this and we'll see if he can bury it in the top corner. Over the wall? No, into the wall. Well, that was unfortunate. Maybe I should have let Berardi, um, Florenzi take it. Next time, Florenzi's up for the free kick. Maybe we'll just let them take it in turns. This time, Florenzi will get to take the free kick. We said we were going to take it in turns with him, and we will do that right now. Backer not going to take this one. Where are you, Alessandro? You can take this free kick. 
and we'll see if we can get it in the back of the net. Florenzi over the wall and over the bar. That was terrible. Righty, through the gap to Backer. Nice little ball into Florenzi. Somehow manages to <laughs> wind up at Varadi's feet. Oh, oh could have gone down there. Never mind. Let's pull it back for Varadi. It's not Varadi. It's Florenzi, and Florenzi makes it one nil. <sighs> in front at last. They've been trying so very hard to uh, try and just push back at Atalanta because they've been on wave and wave after wave of attack for ages. We do finally get it up the other end of the pitch and eventually into the back of the net too. Yay! One nil up. Gimme, thank you. I'm turning sides. Oh, we committed him to the challenge as well. I love it when that happens. You commit them to ground and then you pass it off. Or well, not pass it off, turn them in. How has he saved that, Sports Yellow? And how has the four gotten a block in? I can't believe I've not scored there. Come on, Carlos, you should have buried that. Um, I'm going to... Do I, do I not? No, let's not. You know what I was thinking? To pull it back to the man on the edge of the box. Unfortunately, it may end up at the man on the edge of the box because of the way that uh, that corner was still poorly delivered, unfortunately. Ferrari through there to Florenzi. I'm going to try and draw that defender off. And back has run, has drawn that defender off. And Verdi's in. And surely on his left foot, he will not make it too. Off the outside of the post. Trying to catch them on the counter. He's done that so many times, Verdi, and buried it in the back of the net. And this time, he doesn't. I was so confident there I was going to score. Continue with the throw to Verratti. Almost got fouled there, but... Oh, Verdi lets it run. That is a foul, isn't it? Thank you. I didn't think he was going to give it for a minute. He started backing away as if he was going to run off and not give it. Uh, right, well, Florenzi took the last free kick. So we'll give it back to Insigne again and see if Lorenzo this time... Can get it over the top of the wall. I put a bit more power on it. And he has got it over the wall as Sportiello makes a good save. Well, after Atalanta dominated the first half, we've definitely had the better of the second to Toloi. They're running out of time. There has been four minutes added on, but there's not much of that left now. If we could just slow them down, then they'll hopefully just throw hopeful balls into the box like that and we'll be easily able to defend them. And again, just going to keep putting the pressure on to try and slow him down. The hopeful ball. Oh, no. The hopeful ball comes in. And it's actually a very, very good shot on the end of it. And they still might score here. Romagnoli with a crucial block at the very end. Corner to come. What's the first time here? The keeper's up and everything now. Right, if we can get this clear, then we have the chance to round it out at 2-0. Please catch that, Gianluigi. Thank you. Now, can we get it up quickly enough to score with their keeper out of goal? Backer in a straight foot race with Gunul, who's got no stamina left. Carlos Backer's going to get it under control, and he's going to make it 2-0. All three points, two games in a row here. We just have to hope now that Napoli have uh, lost this match weekend. And we may just close the gap to them at the top of the table. The final whistle won't be long in coming now. And there it is, in fact. So a 2-0 victory in the first game, followed by a 2-0 victory in the second game. Six points, and we head into the transfer window in good form. That was a difficult game, though. They played very well there. Roma win 5-1 against Empoli. Bologna draw 2-2. We've had a couple of big scorelines like that ourselves so far this season. Napoli haven't played yet. All right, well, I'll advance a little bit, and then we'll see uh, where they are. I'll cut until the beginning of the transfer window. Napoli have drawn their game for match day 16. So the gap at the top of the table now sits at four points. Considering when we started the episode, it was nine. I think today can go down as a success. We wanted to say that we wanted to start avoiding drawing and winning more games. And that's exactly what we've done today. An 11 win, five draw, unbeaten streak continues as it does for Napoli, with 13 wins and 3 draws in their favour. Goal difference isn't too much between us either. We've both scored 32 and 33 goals, and we've only conceded single digits, actually, ourselves, and Napoli haven't conceded that many either. Which is considering we had a 2-2 draw with them earlier in the season, so it shows how good they've been against everyone else, and the same with us. So, fingers crossed, that continues. We're both looking quite comfortable for Champions League football for next year, as things stand about the halfway mark, but what's going to happen between... Now, on the end of the season, with regards to the title, is yet to be decided. We are in the transfer window now. We are going to still look for a central midfielder. Muru wants to leave, so I'm going to try and sell Muru, and I'm going to call up the young uh, left-back in the youth squad, and then we'll just have to play that situation by ear. Other than that, actually, no, we're going to sell Pato and get ourselves a striker as well, aren't we? I may be tempted, although... Mm, nah, I was going to say maybe tempted to sell Baka and Pato. 
Uh, I don't know. I'll probably ask on Twitter, to be completely honest, considering I'm having to record all of this ahead of time, like I say, so I can't really take, for the first transfer window in about seven different series, I'm having to go off my own thoughts here rather than taking all of your feedback into account. Again, I apologise. If we, if the holiday had come at any other time, we probably could have uh, been able to have all of the holiday period be during the league season and no actual transfer window would be missed. But sadly, uh, that isn't the case. But what can you do? Sometimes these things happen. So thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further videos. There'll be at least one video every day whilst I'm away. Hopefully the normal two. But for now, I'll see you next time.